That was quite a story, wasn't it? She had those horrendous mood swings, and the only way I knew how to handle the mood swings was go play more golf. <laughs> I don't get to play quite as much golf now. I don't have an excuse to get out of the house. But what I'm going to share with you is how we live. This is our lifestyle. I don't care how you live. I don't care what you eat. This is the way we eat. This is the way we got our health back. Death rate in America now is one per person. <laughs> Sound travels slow sometimes. <laughs> it's a quality of life. It's really neat. We've slipped into our 70s and our body thinks it's, we've totally fooled our body. It thinks it's in our 40s. We have no pain, no, no medication. I don't think anyone will have to be my caretaker, and I don't think I'll have to be anyone else's caretaker. I don't think my children will have to be my caretaker. And I think that the only way you get there is take responsibility for your health. Health, you can't buy health. You earn health by taking responsibility. When I started this journey, it was difficult. I started reading nutrition books, and I could read a different nutrition book every night and get a different plan. I could read a hundred different, and you can do the same thing today. And, they, and what do you do? They, they'll say, eat more of this or more of that. In 1982, I got into the medical physiology textbook, and I found one paragraph that totally changed my search. I can show you how to become healthy. We have a 99-year-old lady at home that uh, if she has new plus, she's consoled. She can walk the stairs. If she doesn't have new plus, she just sits. We had a gentleman come to us last July the 8th. He had hepatitis C and cirrhosis of the liver, a very deadly combination. By December, right after December, he came by and said, oh, you med center gave him a clean bill of health. They said, you don't have liver problems. And he said, do you want to know what I'm doing? They said, no, come back in six months. In May, he went back and had five specialists come in and check him out. And they said, you don't have liver problems, but what are you doing? Normally, after six months, things can go either way. We have a family in Tulsa that has six children. They all have seizures unless they eat the herbs. They spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on medicines of different kinds, but that one little simple thing has resolved their problem. These herbs do not heal nor cure, and I want to make that up front. Medicine does not heal nor cure. You're the miracle. There's an innate quality in your body. If you put the right nutrition in, it can maybe heal itself, and there's no guarantee that it will do it either. But you have to do the best you very can do. I got my wife back, and that's what the whole purpose of this was. Uh, I was concerned about I might have to wash too many dishes. <laughs> we took care of that problem. But what I'm going to share with you is how the body functions, and it's a lifestyle change. And if you eat, uh, if you eat the herbs and still put the negative food in your body, it's like putting mud in clean water. It's always muddy. I want to show you first two pictures of people, and they're here today. I refer to this as fluff. It's a fluff. It's a water retention in the interstitial tissue that causes almost all disease. Linda and Mike, seven years ago, I refer to this as fluff. You look at Mike around here today, he doesn't have much fluff. This, and this is Linda seven years ago. This is seven months later. They remove the toxic waste from their body. And as I talk about fluff today and what it causes, that's what I'm referring to. This lady lost 140 pounds in 10 months and no loose skin. According to Guyton's medical physiology textbook, the abdominal cavity can retain 20 liters of fluid. That's five gallon, that's 40 pounds. What she had collected in her abdomen was roughly 40 pounds of fluid. The difficult thing is getting that off. Most people treat it as fat. I had a friend that had a five bypass. They pulled 35 pounds of yellow, stinky liquid off of his stomach before they did the bypass. It's accumulation. When the liver becomes toxic, it's called sweating. 80, about 50% of your lymph fluid originates in your liver. And if it's toxic, it will sweat and drop up into the abdominal cavity and fill it up with fluid. She lost 140 pounds in 10 months and no loose skin. If you, eat, if you feed the body correctly and you start losing weight, and we've found this out over 15 years, if you start losing weight and the skin starts to getting loose, the body will stop losing weight and lose inches. 
When the skin tightens up, you'll lose weight again. Isn't that amazing? That's all happens inside of you. It's like when a mother has a baby. She doesn't have to put the foot together one day and the leg the next day and the brain the next day. There's an innate intelligence that puts that baby together. All you are required to do is put the right ingredients on this hole in your, under your nose. Nobody force feeds you. And the body will take care of itself. Isn't it amazing when you look at a garden with all the different plants that they're all made from dirt? Did you ever think about that? Every one of those different plants are made from dirt. But each one of those plants has a different characteristic that will enhance and strengthen your body if you put a combination of plants together. One plant doesn't have it. It takes a combination of plants. Your body only recognizes what's natural. We are made from recycled earth. You don't, you, do you realize that within one year from now, 98% of your body is totally replaced? I've got one Chinese medicine book that says in nine months, everything in your body's replaced, even the cancer tumors, even the parasites, they're recycled. If everything in your body is recycled, then you have a choice of how you remodel this house. You have a choice of how you put your body back together. There's another thing most people don't understand is that your body will make every drug that you can buy at the pharmacist. If you're on a drug right now of any kind, then some part of your body's not functioning properly. According to Deepak Chopra, there are about six million, six trillion reactions a second in your body. Dr. Linus Pauling said everything about the body is chemical reactions. You have to have the right chemicals to put the right to put the body back together again. If some part of your if you're on a medicine right now, some part of your body is on welfare, you need to put it back to work. You need to rebuild it some way. It doesn't happen overnight. This is not a quick fix. It takes about nine months. It took nine months for Lois to really start feeling good. It took her six years to get the pressure out of her head. I kept, <laughs> I kept hearing every day, why does my head still hurt? And after six years, the body had cleaned itself up. But she had gone for 40 or 45 years of toxicity, and you just don't clean it up overnight. But it's possible if you're willing to make a lifestyle change. But it's something that you have to want to do. And it works better when two of you are in the household do it together. We found that if one wants to, the other one doesn't want to, it's difficult because the one that's not the leader will drag back over and become, uh, become a follower. We don't tell people we're vegetarians. We eat a plant-based diet. And I don't care how you eat. And you shouldn't care how I eat, but it bothers a lot of people when I don't eat the way they do, and we hear that quite often. So what I'm going to share with you today is how the body functions and what I found to correct the things that we were searching for. <clears throat> I found this in Dr. Richard Moore. Everything about the body is electrical. The cell membrane is like the surface of the earth. That's where the action is. All disease represents a disturbance in the organization and function of body cells. Although it's almost never explained in textbook, every living cell has its own electrical system. In fact, in each case, there's a generator that charges a battery, which in turn provides electricity to run other mechanisms. At the cellular level, you have a hundred trillion cells in your body. Now, I don't know who counts those, and I don't know how they came out exact but they all say a hundred trillion cells, roughly. Each cell is an electrical generator. It's a battery. To function, a cell needs 95 millivolts of electricity. All cells communicate. If cells communicate, it means they must have a cell phone. <laughs> what happens to your cell phone when the battery becomes weak? You lose communication. The same thing happens in your body. When that battery starts to become weak, the, the cell starts producing free radicals that loses the ability to detoxify, and it takes about 30 years to die. I have a, a new book that I just got last week. Two doctors, they said, when you're diagnosed with Alzheimer's, 75% of your cells are dead. The battery's dead. 25% are compromised. Once they're dead, you can't get them back. Each night, you should recharge your batteries. When I, I've said that all my life. I'm going to recharge my batteries tonight. I had no idea that's what I was really doing. But when you wake up in the morning, they should be fully recharged. Lois and I have tremendous energy. We were in Canada giving a seminar to a large group, and we were there five days, and they worked us hard. We were busy all three days just solid. 
we never got tired and I finally figured out is that we have the nutrition for our body to repair and recover. If you wake up tired, your body has not repaired or recovered. There's, you, you're short of nutrition or there's too much toxins in the body. It's not functioning properly. How do you get it back to balance? It all starts with the mitochondria. It all starts with oxygen and glucose. When you get tired, you've run out of carbohydrate. If you're on that low carb diet, you'll get tired faster than if you don't because you'll be tired most of the time. The mitochondria takes this oxygen and glucose and fat and makes ATP. I'm not going into all of that because if you want to know about that, pick you up a medical physiology textbook. There's four chapters you can study that. It produces ATP. This is potassium and this is sodium. The ATP drives this sodium pump, as it's referred to, 300 times a second. <clears throat> This is chemical energy that comes from mitochondria. This pump converts it to electrical energy. It converts chemical energy to electrical energy. For that to happen, you have to have the right nutrients in your body. You have to get rid of the toxins and the thing that slow it down. And that's why Sunrider is so powerful. It's a combination of plants. Perfect, perfect's a pretty good sized word. As near perfect as you can get to replenish the cell at the cellular level. For this to function, you should have eaten at the end of this day four times more potassium than sodium. That's a minimum. If you eat lentils, you get 900 part potassium to one part sodium. If this is functioning properly, then this is a calcium voltage gate. <clears throat> For you to have a nerve impulse or a muscle contraction, calcium has to leak in at the right time and the right amount. Too much calcium, that gate swings open, it's muscular dystrophy, and too much calcium runs in, and you lose control of the muscles and lose control of the body. This is an amino acid voltage gate. Your body does not need protein. This is the biggest myth in our country that you have to eat all of this protein. If protein leaks into your bloodstream, you be, it causes allergies. In fact, juvenile diabetics are caused from uh, undigested protein leaking into the bloodstream and your macrophages try to remove it and it starts eating your own uh, tissue. They'll actually destroy your pancreas because of that undigested protein. Your body needs amino acids and everything that goes in your mouth it starts breaking down in the stomach to a, a polypeptide and in the uh, small intestine should be amino acid and only amino acids go into the body and your body makes its own protein. Your body will make about 300,000 different protein, but you have to have the building blocks. And so if you don't have the building blocks, then the body cannot produce its own protein. And so everything, all protein should be broken down to amino acids. This is a hydrogen, this is a waste gate to get rid of the lactic acid. If you do not move the acid out of that cell, if that battery is weak, then it affects the quality of your hormones and your enzymes. Your cells will make every drug every hormone, every protein, everything the body needs if you put the right material in.